Hi guys from Stella Camera Girl. In today's video, I'm saying goodbye to my beloved old Canon 5D Classic. Suddenly, it stopped working today. <laughs> so, this is just a video about saying goodbye to this beloved camera. It was such an amazing camera for me. I've done a lot of pictures, like a lot of interest, interesting photography on this camera. It is 20 years old, almost, uh, and it was with me for 5 years, since 2018 till today. And it will stay with me, but not working anymore. So, um, I don't know the reason why it stopped working, but I guess it's the, 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 the whole thing, you know. We all have our limits and we stop working some days. So, um, it was falling also, but uh, it felt like two days ago and still worked after because my cat um, threw the, the bag um, down from the, from the chair and inside the bag was this camera and the camera that I'm filming right now. I was preparing to go for a photo shoot and um, it fell down but after that was still working. I don't know the real reason but I guess it is the, the, the time that it's too old the camera so it, it reached her limit and it, it cannot do it anymore like it is not fully uh, died um, if you look here we have something still but it's not taking any picture even if I change the dial here from the manual to automat it's not working it's not like it's not taking any pictures anymore like right now it's on program I switched to program from manual because I thought maybe something wrong with this but no the point is that is not showing here the count of the pictures like how many pictures I do have and uh, I have the card inside like there is the card like 4 gigabytes card um, it's not working So, um, I'm thinking now, maybe it's the time to buy a new camera um, and um, for 10 years being a photographer, I have never worked with really professional camera until I got this one and it was already very old, <laughs> as you know. Uh, so, because it was five years ago, this camera already has 14 15 years of uh, using. So, uh, yeah, I, I have never worked with like really good professional cameras in all my photographic maybe career said it because I didn't really have a career as a photographer in these t 10 years uh, it was most of it occasional shooting for uh, different people and the uh, main of all photo sessions that I've done like I've done a lot plenty of but many of them was, were for free <laughs> so yeah it's like I thought that I have to 
really become a good photographer before to ask for money but the point was that I was working with professionals from other fields and uh, my photos was really good at that time already uh, but for some personal reason like for some personal limitation that I have I, I couldn't ask for money and uh, I've had only some photo session uh, very well paid um, but um, this was like occasional uh, not very often not very much in these 10 years so like for that reason I couldn't uh, buy a professional camera and and use a professional camera because it didn't bring me money so it doesn't make any sense to invest in uh, very expensive cameras to shoot uh, however right now I'm thinking I'm rethinking <laughs> let's say my um, future uh, life in photography and uh, I want to try uh, to make uh, photography for living I don't know if I can do it here in my country uh, but um, I want to try so let's see if there is something for me uh, so yeah, for this reason I'm gonna need a uh, professional camera because I've decided not to work anymore with uh, mediocre cameras. I'm very tired guys, like I have worked for all these years with only mediocre cameras, not professional, with only very old lenses. Uh, I've started to use since the beginning of my photographer career <laughs> I have used only manual lenses um, like old Soviet lenses um, and then um, the first lens that I have tried um, that was um, automatic lens it was a um, Tamron Tamron 18 to 55 or 18 to, to 60 millimeters. I don't really remember that focal length that was. It was a zoom lens from Tamron. Pretty good one. Uh, only 50 euro I paid for it uh, at that time, many years ago. So I used that lens for a few months, then I sold it. And until recently I've continued to use only manual lenses and my first after that lens with autofocus was the lens on my Panasonic uh, that I'm filming right now um, and this uh, it is the Zuiko lens I have my uh, beloved Panasonic G80 and the Zuiko 14-42, the, the first version, not the pancake one, but the first version that was attached to, I believe, to one of the Pen uh, Olympus version of the cameras, like the small ones. So, I'm filming right now on it. It's a great lens, I love it. And uh, I fell in love with uh, zoom lenses. I fell in love with uh, technology good technology lenses and cameras and I really do not want to go back by using uh, like all the lenses and use my hands to to to, sh to find the the focus you know I'm pretty good on it but I got tired so it's 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 like almost useless to do it in 2024 when we get such an amazing technology from pretty much every camera manufacturer so 
it's just not for me. It's I'm not saying that I'm not using anymore. I will not use anymore the manual lenses. I may do it for special project just to make something different, but for everyday uses, the autofocus uh, for me personally is paramount and I want to have autofocus on all my lenses uh, and it really doesn't matter what uh, brand I will choose to go with because I don't know yet at the moment um, what will be my chosen uh, brand for the future in photography thinking because for video making I already have chosen my camera and I really want to go with Blackmagic uh, cinema cameras uh, I'm thinking to uh, buy the Blackmagic, Blackmagic uh, 4K version like the MFT lenses um, and yeah I really love also the 6K, the 6K Pro version uh, also it's awesome because it's full frame uh, but um, for the moment I'm thinking to go with the 4K MFT because I can use already two lenses that I have I have this lens and I have another lens from um, Panasonic which is the 25mm 1.7 so I can put it on uh, my uh, um, Blackmagic mm, 4K MFT camera and use it uh, to shoot with these lenses. Uh, for the photo, I really have to decide what camera should I buy and of course I have to rent few cameras and shoot with them um, because uh, I saw the prices and they are really crazy like, like they, they bite they bite a lot you know <laughs> so um, I don't know how I can buy these cameras but um, at least with the renting I can I can go to rent some of them except except Nikon because uh, unfortunately we do not have um, any Nikon camera speaking the Z cameras because guys I want to go with the latest technology cameras for the photo and for the videos um, so I'm thinking to go only um, with um, the mirrorless cameras uh, for photo which maybe will be a Canon Air model full frame I want to go with full frame um, or maybe will be um, a Nikon Z series uh, this is um, a little bit more tricky because we do not have a um, Nikon uh, um, sellers here uh, we have Canon only we used to have a Nikon for uh, DSLRs before but I couldn't find a Z series uh, for selling here and of course we do not have the representants uh, of Nikon in Moldova for um, renting so I cannot rent a uh, Nikon uh, Z camera to test it to make some photo shoots and see how it performs I'm pretty sure that it performs amazingly uh, I saw some tests on the internet and um, I know that Nikon make great cameras in terms of photography and the Z series are already very good for video too but I'm buying mm, the photo camera for photo only and video camera for video only so um, it's 
a little bit hard to choose. We will see uh, how it can be because, yeah, it's only Canon <laughs> and nothing else here. Um, and in terms of models, you cannot choose much because we have either five R5 and R6 Mark II and uh, uh, some other smaller models like um, R10 uh, like just today I um, went into uh, discover the R models of uh, Canon because I have stopped to uh, look onto Canon cameras since they stopped to release the DSLRs models so I have no any ideas before today of the R models how they how they specified and how it works everything you know uh, for me was a unknown totally unknown same with the Nikon like the Z models for me it was totally I don't know what it is and how it positions uh, all these numbers like I know everything almost everything about the SLRs models Nikon and Canon but nothing about the mirrorless <laughs> so yeah uh, I have to study them we have only a few models as I said and yeah they cost a lot um, but um, at least I can uh, uh, rent a um, 6D Mark II or a 6D Mark I. Um, only these two cameras we have for renting. Uh, uh, speaking Canon, uh, speaking mirrorless Canon, because we have DSLRs. Um, like 5D, 5D, um, Mark 3 and Mark 4 we have to for renting, but um, in terms of our models we have only 6D Mark 1 and 6D Mark 2, and we have no any R lenses to rent. Like both two cameras, like guys in. In my city, there are only two cameras from Canon R to rent in the whole city. And um, <laughs> I know it's crazy, yes. And um, we do not have R lenses. Both camera come with the um, adapter from uh, EF lenses. Uh, from R from from EF to R camera, so yeah, you can borrow lenses uh, from EF um, and put it on the R cameras. This is how it is, anyway. And for example, I could use this 50 millimeter uh, STM lens from my Canon. Put it on on that uh, camera or I can rent a good lens because I do not consider this a good lens it doesn't doesn't do much uh, so I can uh, borrow a uh, good lens from EF mount and put it on this camera so uh, I have to see I have to test a lot and then um, see how I feel by shooting with these cameras uh, because for um, like my personal needs I use this camera for shooting videos on YouTube this is the only one camera that I using for shooting videos and photos uh, <laughs> Since this died, I will use only this until I'll buy a, a, another camera for uh, photos. But like speaking a client 
photography, I really cannot use this camera for client works because Panasonic G80 it's not a photography camera. It does some nice pictures but they are nice pictures. They are not professional pictures. I have tested it in many different scenarios uh, since I have it six months um, and recently I took it inside the studio and it cannot stand uh, for the quality for the photo for the video it's a good abbastanza good uh, video camera like hybrid but video camera uh, and this does really good videos for such a small camera small body in low cost it does amazing videos for YouTube and uh, I've done also some paid works uh, with uh, this camera for uh, um, events it's pretty good for events if you have to do like not long events but um, for really good things you you need professional professional cameras professional video cameras for video professional cameras photo cameras for photo so that's why I'm saying I cannot use this camera for paid photo shoots because it does not deliver even half of what it should um, it's it's far from the good uh, for shooting pictures uh, like I love this camera you know how much I love it and um, how enthusiastic I was when I bought it and it's great for um, outside photo shoots in streets like for streets it's it's a great camera but not for paid work not for studio work you need I need a really professional good camera and full frame I've decided to go with full frame not go with uh, micro four thirds uh, photo cameras um, and not even with the crop factor uh, photo cameras um, even after I've tried uh, a Fujifilm which is a such a piece of amazing amazing technology I've shoot with uh, Fujifilm X-T4 for one week and it is great camera like it's amazing for photo and it does also some really good videos um, but it's different from others um, um, it's it's whole another world uh, speaking Fujifilm so um, it cannot be compared with other brands because it's something different absolutely different um, so um, yeah only full frame or medium format why not <laughs> but uh, full frame is more realistic for me um, money speaking because medium format is very very expensive even the Fujifilm uh, JFX are very expensive for me so um, which camera will I choose for my photography maybe mm, I don't have many choices and maybe I will have to go with Canon which is a great brand uh, and it gives a great quality but not really because I really uh, want to go with Canon but because I'm kind of forced to uh, choose it because it's choice without a choice like you don't have anything else to choose we don't have Panasonic representants we don't have Nikon <laughs> we have only Canon 
and it's really tiny it's like it's a small small company not company even it's a small store like it is like my kitchen like four meters four square meters it's 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 a tiny tiny store and it's only one in my country only one store yeah it's this one um, that sells photo cameras so um, yeah a choice without a choice so I have a Canon and I will have to go for another Canon um, I cannot say that I'm um, like not happy um, to choose a Canon um, but maybe I would I would like to go with Nikon because Nikon are great cameras uh, Nikon Z so they are kind of nicer design for me personal how I like it I saw the Z6 uh, um, C7 models and um, yeah Z6 cost about 2000 euros it's $1900 in the United States here in Europe guys you have to know that in Europe we have it much more expensive like if you have it there in dollars you have to add about $450, $500 more uh, for Europe so that's how much it costs in stores in Europe except Germany uh, because Germany has a really good politics of prices and in Germany you can buy um, the best prices uh, of anything pretty much everything but speaking cameras now like Germany is top um, you can buy the best uh, prices uh, cameras in Germany uh, however it's more expensive than in in the United States the United States is the most uh, like is the top um, for the prices in any any fields like everything you buy uh, it will be so much lower uh, with the prices and you have you know better than me because you know it <laughs> you have possibility to buy there in credit and like rate how we say it I don't know how it's in English rate without interest with zero interest like main stores having like BNH and Adorama I guess you can buy from BNH I saw that you can buy with zero interest some things there um, yeah here in my country no you cannot do that uh, so I have to find a uh, way to buy this camera like maybe I will work with um, renting uh, it's a bit expensive but I just have to it's mean that I have to charge more for my photo shoots um, and they work with um, a um, rental camera until I will uh, find a way to, to buy my own camera who knows maybe it will be a different brand I just have to have the, the cash for it and go to the nearest country and buy it so I can go to Romania and buy the camera that I like because in Romania there is everything absolutely so I can buy any brand I like but I have just have the whole mm, amount of money with me so just go and pay the whole money for it and get my camera oh uh, I thought that this video will be only five seconds <laughs> but um, yeah I say more than I have to so this was my beloved 
Yeah, what I don't like really much about the Panasonic G80, it is the limit of recording. So it just stop recording me. And this is bother me because it's not a video camera. A video camera shouldn't perform like this, shouldn't behave like this. It's bad. Like if you do a reportage, if you do an interview, if you do something that it has to be for hours going and suddenly it stops, this is ruining your work. Bad, 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 very bad. So yeah, thank you for being with me, my Canon. You will go inside the drawer to rest for the rest of your not life and um, and I have to think what to do with my life as a photographer to pursue this uh, path uh, or just to leave it and not do photography anymore and refocus on video only. It will depend of my future uh, in the next few months and we will see. See you next time. Uh, maybe in the next video I will tell you uh, something about my uh, non light that is illuminating me right now. Um, you can check the video if you didn't see it, uh, so you can see the light, um, the unboxing. Um, not really unboxing, but yeah, it's kind of unboxing of my Nanlite 60. Um, so um, you can see that this light is amazing. It doesn't have a soft box. It is with the um, with the cup filter, you know, um, and it's pretty harsh, but I like harsh light. I do not fear it, and yeah, it's harsh and it, it is direct, direct harsh light. Um, so, yeah, just to say that this is an amazing light and I love it. Mm. And I have already used it for one uh, photo shoot and video shoot um, on this channel. Yeah, you can watch um, the thing uh, done with this light on this channel. You can watch the photo shoot um, spells. It is a video actually, and there are another one which is um, the slide photos. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. See you next time. Um, I don't know when and I don't know what about it will be this video. Maybe not about the non light because um, I have nothing to say, say about it. I mean the internet is full about tests and tutorials about this light and maybe it will be stupid to put another video. <laughs> like, yeah, just see the, see how I look. You can see. Is her place here? <laughs> so um, this is done with non light. No more saying. This is the best thing that you can see. Like they're direct, not hearing youtubers speaking like for one hour about how this light performs and what it has inside and it's better just to look what it does see you next time i don't know when bye bye don't forget to subscribe and uh, like like and subscribe uh, so i can think to make videos more often Bye-bye.